What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. What's up? Folks, if you like this stream, you can catch it and many more on twitch.tv slash save data team. We'd really appreciate it if you went and watched us live there. And if you wanted to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team, where for just a couple bucks a month, you get access to the full VODs of every single stream we do. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams each month. And the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this. I hope I updated it. Patreon song. Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all. Gotta thank em all our Patreons. Burger Bomb, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Hello Dave, Hobbucha, and Sofino. HSM, Firm, Wake, Pro, Knight, Danny, and the Lesser Kevin Asian, shout out Navi. Shout out to Jayco, Bell, Taco Sensei, Aki, Forensic, Peck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Shout out to Lebris, Sean, Fine Logo, Goes at Belly, Don't Forget, Shabberstein, and Real Life Jolly! Thank em, thank em, gotta thank em all, gotta thank em all our Patreons! <laughs> Folks, one more thing I want to shout out before we get started here. Uh, in case you missed it, this weekend, uh, me, Pridge, and Jason did go to a wedding of a good college friend of ours. Uh, and as requested... The Slam Man. The Slam Man. As requested during our Ghost Trick Let's Play, uh, we did in fact do the Panic Dance at the Wedding Reception. Uh, which we tweeted at Shu Takami, uh, which was also liked and commented on by uh, Masa, Masakazu Sugimori, who is uh, the composer of the franchise, or at least the first few games in the franchise, uh, and Ghost Trick. Uh, but please enjoy this uh, while I be terrified about the music uh, getting us a copyright strike. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at us! We're crushing it! <laughs> People were going crazy. They loved it. Look at those moves! Look at the plays! <laughs> uh, it's 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 great. Uh, thank you all so much for supporting us in the weird shit that we do here on this channel. <laughs> Incredible. Folks, with that all out of the way, let's get into the game. The game. The game. Oh yeah, hey, we were right here. <laughs> yeah. We were literally so, at the start of the testimony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Just so Oh, wait, go back to the his go to the history. What was like the last thing that was said? Tell the court what you saw yeah, in the afternoon like of the it. incident. Uh yeah, I saw. nothing report on the streets. I made a joke about in the sheets. Yep. Uh yeah. That all check that all checks out. That checks out. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so that Pat, does seem like something we would do. Pat and Rolly beat. It was our wedding anniversary, and Rolly was taking me out for a meal. There was no time to change after work. That's, damn, that's really unfortunate. Uh. Anyway, two silhouettes appeared out of the fog on the pavement in front of us. All of a sudden, one of them just collapsed on the floor. Then the other scattered something before running off. He ran straight over, of course, and then went for help at a nearby police box. It was definitely that Japanese man in the dock. Raleigh and I both saw him as clear as day. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> well, this is extremely compelling testimony, I must say. I'm calling it now. Rolly didn't see shit. He was sleepwalking. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This policeman and his wife are claiming to have positively identified Mr. Natsume at the scene. If the testimony is true, the alternative course of events that you established in the summation examination will be quashed. It's death knell, in fact. Because that alternative was never viable in the first place. 
but an unfortunate behance bechancing. And on your wedding anniversary, too. Oh, I know. But I still managed to go out for the, for the evening with my man. I thank the Lord for that. Wes, well, I love the voice you're doing for this girl. It's I really cute. Her, actually. <laughs> she's, she's really cute. I like yeah. her. Gosh, the life of a London Bobby sounds very hard indeed. Indeed. However, this cross-examination will be over in minutes. You may well have time to rest this afternoon. If it's not over in five minutes, are you going to start screaming? <laughs> what do you mean by that? My learned friend, the witnesses saw the face of the man fleeing the scene. They are testifying under oath that it was without doubt the accused, Mr. Soseki Natsume. And one of these witnesses is a policeman, no less. So you, so you appreciate the gravity of the situation, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Except that man's so tired, his wife has to do all the talking. Just like real life, am I right, fellas? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck those kinds of wedding marriage jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Enough preamble. Counsel for the defense, commence the cross-examination, please. So I can get back to the old ball and chain, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord. Okay. Going for a meal. No time to change. Two silhouettes appeared out of the fog. All of a sudden, one of them collapsed on the floor, and the other one scattered something before running off. I feel like this is where we start pressing for things. In how many statements were before that? Two. Um, um yeah. If you want to start here, that's fine. All right. Hold it. <clears throat> hmm. Now, Ryanosuke, you know what the fuck he's- It's the goddamn books, you idiot. Scattered something. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> oh, I forgot oh, well. about this. Yeah, remember, you can look can at other look? people's reactions yeah. to things. Well, he ain't fucking but reacting again, to shit. But again, the game- the game makes it painfully obvious. Yeah, so yeah. there's not really a lot of- It's not really a puzzle, it's more like, oh, cool, that's yeah. the- More like, use your eyes! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's more like, do you have eyes? Then you'll I guess, get this. I guess it is a puzzle for people who have bad eyesight, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I couldn't quite make out what it was at the time. But then we got closer, we realized what it was. Didn't we, darling? Uh, what? Oh, yes, that's right. It was some old books. <laughs> I see. Old books. But I thought they were my books. Yes, sir. The culprit had dropped a number of them all around where the victim lay on the pavement. Indeed. It's clearly pictured in this photographic print. That rotten Japanese man did that when he did the hey. deed. Okay, Patricia. Ooh. <laughs> Hold it. That's racist. Let's not forget that it remains to be established that the defendant was indeed the attacker. But we saw him. It was the man in the dock without question, sir. <laughs> the mustache. The hunchback, the cat-like eyes, the taut mouth, the snub nose, everything. Are you sure that wasn't cat suit Mario? <laughs> God damn it. That was good. It was, you know, it was, it's, I'm working here. 
<laughs> yeah, not working hard enough. <laughs> what, other, what other sort of racist uh, innuendos can I make? Uh, Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. Stop. Any more insults you want to throw in? That's right. He looked down at that poor, defenseless woman with those terrifying, intense eyes. And then suddenly threw his books onto the pavement and ran away. Uh, I see. This is tough. They seem as though they're telling the truth here. Mr. Natsume does have those weird cat-like eyes. <laughs> May I remind the court that this unambiguous testimony comes from a policeman and his wife. Now please, continue. Yes, sir! God damn it. Okay, let's start pressing here. Hold it! Why did you go to a police box if you are the police? <sighs> 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 I mean, I mean, that's not a bad question. Nah. I mean, if they need like a carriage or a doctor's or something, they still need to go. Yeah. It's still gonna be fast to go to a police box. <laughs> I don't Where think was there's... your cell phone at the time? <laughs> <laughs> was it your? Why didn't you ring them on the celly? <laughs> <laughs> Do they call it the celly? Just like the the, the TV is the telly? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, yeah, in my I'm mind, sorry. yes. <laughs> <laughs> British people, confirm. <laughs> That's right, you won't because you're scared. <laughs> you're scared that I know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we know the truth of your slang. <laughs> Was it your husband who went to fetch help? No, no, I went. I may not be a police officer myself, but I'm proud. But, I'm, but I am the proud wife of one, after all. Isn't that right, my darling? Ah, uh, 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 oh yes, that's right. I asked Mrs. Beat to go. I was off duty by that point. Who refers to their wife as Mrs. <laughs> Yeah. As misses their last name. <laughs> I asked Mrs. their last name to go. <laughs> They're not. But, uh, I figured it out. They're not really married. Mystery oh, solved. Got him. The twist. Where's the ring? Hot twist. Where's the ring? But, uh, Bobby's never truly off duty, of course. So I felt obliged to stay and guard the scene. Very laudable, Mr. Beat. Preserving the scene of a crime is a task of considerable importance. That's why I sent Patricia, you see. I told her where to find the right police box. Um, f forgive my ignorance, but what do you mean exactly by the right police box? Well, there's also one on the left, <laughs> so I sent her to the right one, because that one's better. <laughs> Well, there's one of them that when you call it connects you to the Fox News Network, and the other one. I was just gonna say it drops calls, but sure, we can do another. Connects you to joke. MSNBC. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on a crime's location, you see, as to who deals with it. Where the woman was stabbed wasn't actually on my beat. Oh, and your last name is B. So I told Patricia the way to the police box for the beat the incident fell under so she could go and report it. I ran there as quickly as I could and asked for help from the Bobby on duty. There's nothing more important than a young couple in love working together, you know. And thanks to your swift response, the case was quickly resolved. The actions of two model citizens. Oh, please, you're making us blush. Is the darling. Ah. Ah. Yes, sir! What well, Patricia said, sir. <sighs> <sighs> 
let's move on, shall we? Uh, wait, so did they specify oh, wait, where but, the thing was? Wait, that's that's a contradiction, uh, because it was foggy. Everybody's saying, well, they're saying it was light fog, so. I think the fog is going to come into play later. I just don't think okay. we're there yet. Okay. Uh, you think I should know this, but oh, I don't well, then, remember what saying I saw him clear as day. Uh, I mean, at least less, less, less. Also, he's running yeah, away I'm from I, I think I think it's going to come through at some point, but. But surely you wouldn't have been able to see his face by the light of the, the gas street lamps, would you? We absolutely could. Us Londoners have exceptional eyesight, I'll have you know. Uh, that's a weird thing to say. Is that why your eyes are so, like, sparkly that they look yeah. like a freaking shine gun? <laughs> yeah. Do you, have, do you have cursed eyes? <laughs> yeah, is there a reason you, you have a fucking ocular jutsu These from Naruto? These are check again, Kai. <laughs> right. The light from the street lamps was more than enough. And my husband already told you that the fog was only light, didn't he? I guess this is also I guess this is the case of wives being aggressive towards their husbands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, and what of the fog? What else is new? Am I right, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> we are famous for it across the globe, I believe. But it's an absolute menace to those of us who have to live with it, of course. Oh, it is, it is. When it's thick, you can't even see the hand at the end of your own arm. Yes, all right, I take your point. Now, could you stop shaking your husband about? Ah, 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 ah. The constant fog makes our eyes very sharp, you see. That's why we can tell you for sure and s for sure and certain that it was the little Japanese man we saw. Can't we, darling? Ah, uh, 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 yes, it was the accused and no mistake. The moustache, the hunchback, the cat-like eyes, the taut mouth and the snub nose. I'm mistakable, sir! As far as this couple's testimony is concerned, there can't be any question. It's the Seki-san that they saw running away from the scene of the crime. Hmm. So that's it, now, is it? That's their entire testament. What do you think, Mr. Narahodo? Well, I hate to admit it, but on hearing the testimony, it really does seem as though Mr. and Miss Beat saw what they say they saw. Mr. Natsume running away from the scene on Briar Road that day. Yes, I feel the same. So, if that's true, where does it leave us? The members of the jury are sure to call for a guilty verdict after this testimony. Oh no! Then what do we do? We never stop the testimony. <laughs> we, we filibuster. We filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> if Kazuma-sama were here, he'd Ouch. already figured it out. He'd already have won. What are you trying to say? Kind of things. <laughs> I think he would try to find a contradiction somewhere else within their testimony. What do you mean, somewhere else? Their statement about seeing Mr. Natsume is unequivocal. Calling that into question won't help. But if you could identify some other part of the testimony which appears to contradict the facts, you might be able to discredit them to make the jury doubt if the pair's memory of the day is accurate. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> Put simply, we must focus on finding a discrepancy in these statements in these statements somewhere. If we don't, I'm afraid the trial may reach an early and favorable conclusion. Uh, why do I always seem to be so up against it? It's like I'm right, so something... video game. I, was it wasn't say. actually your wedding anniversary. <laughs> I mean, I'm willing, I'm willing to start guessing shit like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't, yeah, I'm sure. Let's press it, I guess. I have here your wedding certificate. Yeah. <laughs> 
No time to change after work, you say? Are you also a member That's of the That's a lie! Ah. Are you also a member of the police, Miss Beat? Mrs. Beat? She literally said that in a different part of the testimony. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, no, sadly not. It's a job for strapping young men only. Women, children, and the elderly can't even apply. Well, I think you can probably see why why children and the elderly can't do the job, can't you? <laughs> no, I honestly... I was a bobby when I was but five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Arresting <laughs> criminals with my anime child six-pack. <laughs> I think Raleigh looks ever so handsome in his uniform. It suits you down to the ground, doesn't it, darling? Ah! 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 Oh, I just finished my beat. Pat and I were heading back to the station. I was actually planning on getting changed there. Is... Is he talking in his sleep? <sighs> this is creepy. Oh no, Rolly. I much prefer you in uniform. Sometimes, I don't recognize you when I see you in plain clothes. Oh dear, that doesn't seem healthy. No, we get it. You have a uniform. We have a uniform. She has a uniform fetish. We yeah, get it. Yes, I've oh, like several yeah, times almost made that joke. I urge the, the, the defense the, the, not to kink shame. The Bobby, <laughs> the Bobby outfit stays out in the bedroom. Hundred <laughs> percent. Kindly adhere to the point. You were going for a meal after you had finished your beat for the day, correct? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, sorry, I tickled myself with that one. That's right, sir, yes. Although I was fit to drop, to be honest, after spending the whole day on my feet. But policing is my life, sir. As long as I'm the proud owner of this, I'll serve my city and my queen till the end. What's that now? My warrant card, sir. Proof that I'm a London copper. It has the noble founding principles of the force written on it as a reminder to all us policemen of our sworn duty to patrol the streets of London town and uphold the peace of the common man. Sir! And for such a noble cause, I cover 20 miles every single day without fail and without a grumble. Because I know that the plodding of my boots is all Londoners need to hear to feel safe and secure. I'm pretty sure this guy does the saloon animation more than Meekins did. <laughs> so, fighting crime doesn't appear to come into it, then? But, sir, just on that one particular day, I was looking forward to celebrating my wedding anniversary. Mrs. Beat puts up with a lot being married to a bobby Whoa. like me. I wanted to show my dear wife how much I care. That's adorable. So smooth. Yeah. yeah. So smooth. They're really cute. <laughs> Oh, Pat. Oh, Rolly. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, oh, oh young love. A pure love. Oh, what a charming couple. The young love is such a joy to behold. If a little over the top, perhaps? Have you not played an Ace Attorney game, Mr. Nara? <laughs> <laughs> and then... Kindly describe what happened next. You can fast forward to the sexy part. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm particularly interested in, I guess. Um, Mr. Lawyer, sir, can I ask you something? Oh, uh, yes, of course. What is it? Well, you keep asking us all these questions about everything we've told you, so... It seems like you don't believe our testimony. Is that right? Is it? Well, out with that. 
God, their animations are so oh, cute. Oh, that's the cutest shit I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> punchy, punchy. Punchy, punchy. God, just let this man sleep. Come on. No, he has to punch us. What? No, no, no. Oh, no, it's it's not really like that at Ow. all. Oh, God. Quick, duck, Mr. Narahote. <laughs> Block. This game becomes a punch out now. Yeah. Oh, that'd be uh, finally. Different. Just like the final boss of Delta Room. <laughs> My husband's a policeman, remember? Uh, and I know what I saw. I remember every last detail. Everything. Like, like... Oh, I know. What about the books the man dropped? I can tell you the names of every single uh -oh. one I could. Every single oh, one. Oh, this is how we're going to get him. Uh-oh. But you don't. About to make a mistake. And do you dare to question how reliable my testimony is? That will do, Mrs. B. No, it won't do it at all. <laughs> that Japanese lawyer has no idea what I'm capable of. Even if I decide to forgive him for insulting us, don't think for a minute that Rolly will. I... I really didn't mean to cause offense. Please put your husband fist, husband's fists down. <laughs> Perhaps you would like the opportunity to supplement your testimony, Mrs. Beach? I just realized yeah, his wig like slides on this hand. This, this uh -huh. sprite, it's good. Might that uh, appease you? Oh, thank you, my lord. That would settle things nicely. Wouldn't it, darling? Okay, at least she didn't yank him again. I would have felt bad. <laughs> Don't worry, she's saving the yanking for later tonight. Uh, already starting off wrong. Yeah, she does say the four books. Uh, already starting on a bad foot there. However, uh, Akai Cheetah in the chat does ask that we press this statement, so I will do just that. Yes, we know that there were books dropped at the scene of the crime, as you say. As you say. Those purchased by the accused at the nearby second-hand bookshop on the day in question. After I'd been to the police box for help, I, well, I decided to have a good look over the area for good measure. I am a proud policeman's wife, after all. I did it for Raleigh. And what was your husband doing at the time? Oh, he was lying face down in the snow, getting some well-deserved rest. Oh my god! <laughs> That's not well-deserved rest! That's hypothermia and your frostbite! Your husband was dying, Patricia! <laughs> That's why his face is so red. <laughs> he works ever so hard, you know. Ever so hard. Don't you, my darling? Interesting way of guarding the scene of the crime. <coughs> Well, Mrs. B, they're saying as you've regaled the court with tales of your powers of recollection, would you uh, be so kind as to recount the titles of the books you observed at the scene? I'd be happy to. Now, are you all listening? There was the picture of Monsieur Somebody or the other, and... What's it, yearning? <laughs> then there was um, a meal for someone, and the last one was definitely the thing of me something. <laughs> you see? Oh, I do, Patricia. Uh, yes, I see there are one or two holes in your memory. Oh, well, they were along those lines, I'm quite sure. <laughs> there were indeed books found at the scene with titles <laughs> along those lines, as you put it. Well, what I tell you? So I think it's very mean the way you've been implying that my testimony can't be trusted. Don't you agree, darling? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god, he's got a gun. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's got a gun in the corner. Oh my god. Oh fuck, he kill you. What the literal fuck? <laughs> oh my! I've got just enough shots for you and for me. <laughs> oh my God, Wes! <laughs> How did this this what? All this shit that's been said, and now he fucking flies off the deep end. Nope. Uh. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> yes. And I know I sound sarcastic, but I'm actually scared but shitless I, right now. I actually now. did shit and fart my pants just now. <laughs> yes, she really is. <laughs> okay, this is a repeat. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, let's get to it's the last frame, I believe. Yeah, the four uh, books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, presents... You stupid idiot. The three books. Yeah. Yep. Objection. So, you're saying that there were four books? That's right. I remember all of them. The picture of Monsieur Somebody, what's it yearnings, a mirror for someone, and the thing of me something. I'm sorry, Miss Beat, but there is a fundamental flaw in that statement of yours. Oh no, what, what flaw? Simply that, at the scene of the crime, there were only three books, not four. What? This is the receipt from the bookshop where the defendant bought his books. Your books? But I thought they were Mr. Natsume's books. <laughs> God damn it. That's a good bit. Yes, and it details Mr. Natsume's purchases that day. But as you can see, only three books are listed. I mean, is it entirely possible she bought a book? Or he brought his own book with him extra? Yeah. Yeah, or she just happened to have a book on her. This is a really like. Or. I, yeah. I, get, the point is, I get the point is we're trying to make the witnesses doubt stuff, but this is like. Yeah. A really yeah, because Olive, Olive could have had a book. Right, that's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, I, I know what the game's trying to do. It's just, it's really pointless. Or he yeah. had four books and Patricia stole one of them. <laughs> Only three? But no, no, that can't be. I remember seeing them. There were four books, I tell you. Four dirty old books. Oh, really? Have a good look at this photographic print of the scene yeah. of the crime. <laughs> as you can clearly see from this evidence as well, there are only three books. I mean, that doesn't really... I mean, she, her body could be covering anything. a thing, but you know. Right. This, again, this is such a weird... I, mean, I know what they're trying to do. It's just really silly. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't believe it. I saw them there. I swear it. I saw them. And then Naruto comes in and says, Believe it. Believe it. <laughs> no, madam, I'm afraid your powers of observation cannot be relied upon. Because of this one stupid thing, you are now an unreliable <laughs> witness. So You're says me. Stupid idiot. <laughs> <sighs> we have destroyed your credibility. <laughs> so, it cannot be denied. That though you You're say, a stupid doo doo brain. <laughs> that though you say it was the defendant you saw, you could very well be mistaken. Oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no! No! <laughs> Objection! That was the stupidest, most asinine <laughs> line of reasoning that I've ever heard. Face the situation. Real. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly with Pridge. <laughs> it's plainly evident that it is your powers of deduction that cannot be relied upon, my learned Nipponese friend. What? 
What cannot be denied is that these two witnesses saw the accused running from the scene. Fanzix, please do not throw or break this glass. Please. I can promise you that I will think about not throwing it. <laughs> A fact that you know very well you have no hope of disproving. Uh. So you've striven to avert attention from that by dint of some inconsequential discrepancies. What is by dint? Yeah. What is that word? Hold on, I gotta... Let's... Dint, noun, an impression or hollow in a surface. Archaic, a blow or stroke, typically one made with a weapon in fighting or a verb to make Okay. A it's basically like you, like, a like, like a dent. It's like a dent. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just the it's just the one vowel difference from dent that means the exact same word. Oh uh, no. No, it's not. It means by means of. Okay. Would that be fair? Uh, he sees right through me. But your plan has somewhat recoiled against you. What are you talking about? It's quite simple. Let me explain with a toast. Someone I get brought me the my bread. <laughs> I brought yeah. my toaster here. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, please bring out the toaster. <laughs> All toasters make toast. <laughs> wow. There's an old YouTube yeah, reference damn. for you right there. To the policeman's wife and her entirely accurate testimony in every respect. Oh, fuck. Galactic Whale Shark says, did he bring the beans too? That's really <laughs> good. <laughs> oh. You see, the matter is not up for debate. At the scene on Briar Road, a total of four books were most definitely found. Objection. But, but what about the photographic print? It only shows three books. Quite right. Only three can be seen in that print. That, that print? Ryan. You don't mean to say... Damn it! I told you I would think about it. <laughs> Allow me to present another, an updated photographic print. God damn it. One that shows the victim's hand. Oh, so yeah, the, the victim did bring their own book. I I don't believe it. The Lion's Pride. Uh -oh. I love that book. Uh, uh -oh. quick. That was one of the Bridge, books he I had think... gotten. No, it's not. No, that's Bridge, one of the books. I think you get it. That's, uh, did, Zach, we met someone who really likes lions, didn't we? <gasps> oh, shit. And that was the book that he that, got burnt up. And it has a burn was, mark. That was, that, that's Garadab's book. Oh, shit. That's just fucking, that's my Garadab's book. Oh, oh. <laughs> Incredible. I don't believe it. It's, it's the fourth book. On the snowy knoll. <laughs> and you will observe. The fourth book was hidden from view in the original print by the victim's torso. Or head, or legs. No. I'm not quite sure. No! All features of her kind of blend together. <laughs> Order! Order! There, you see? You see? Look at that. Look, look, look! Yes. It's just like I said, isn't it, my darling? Yes, sir. Patricia's always right, sir. Happy wife, happy life, sir. <laughs> Let us study the receipt from the books purchased by the accused on the day in question. Mrs. Beat, the titles once again, if you please. Oh, yes, of course. 
the picture of Monsieur somebody or other. The picture of Monsieur Lecoq. Picture What's of my earnings? monster cock. <laughs> picture oh my of my God. monster cock. Jesus. What's it yearnings? <laughs> Yearning for Le uh, monster cock. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> you were the pure answer. one. <laughs> it, was, it was too stupid to pass. You <laughs> were supposed to bring us into prosperity. <laughs> <laughs> My members' leanings. <laughs> A meal for someone. A meal for your for mouth. <laughs> See, Zach knows what's up. A mouthful uh -huh. for you. A meal for Gabbaro, in <laughs> fact. A meal to gag on, in <laughs> oh fact. Oh my god! As the court has just heard, the witnesses, the witness remembers the book titles flawlessly, <laughs> save for a few minor details. <sighs> Don't know what the word flawlessly means. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very incorrect understanding of the word Flawlessly. <laughs> she forgot about the thick veins running through them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I say flawlessly? I meant jawlessly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Beat's powers of recollection can only be described as exceptional. As decent enough. <laughs> Did you hear that, Rolly? The gentleman paid me a compliment. Oh, kill him! Yes. <laughs> I'll fucking kill him! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Flawless, sir. Patricia is flawless. But there are only three books on the receipt, and Miss Beast mentioned four. There's nothing surprising about that. Clearly the fourth book is that which is shown... Clearly the fourth book is that which is shown in this photographic print. Here, Link to Vincent. Patricia did say they were dirty books. <laughs> <laughs> she did! That's really good. There, see? She did see, we got it, back. boys. No mistake. <laughs> it all comes full circle. <sighs> Clearly, the fourth book is that which is shown in this photographic print. I'm sorry, Council, but does that not seem odd? Why should the fourth book be omitted from the uh, receipt? He stole it. <laughs> he is Japanese, in fact. It's not odd at all, my lord. As the photographic, as the photograph clearly shows, the fourth book was found in the victim's clutches. In other words, it belongs to the victim. The victim was holding her own book. I wonder, what became of that fourth book? Obviously, it wasn't overlooked by the investigating officers at Scotland Yard. I have it here, as evidence. You will submit that and the aforementioned photographic print to the court, please, Council. My pleasure, my lord. Hmm. God bless. <laughs> Big Thank sneeze you. on stream. Mm -hmm. The prosecution rests. Oh, can the witness rest too? <laughs> I have nothing further to add. What? You seem surprised, my learned friend. But your resistance until now has been in vain. Entertaining, yes, but futile. 
The spurious, longer route the, the, to the accused's lodgings that you tried to establish in your summation examination. And the attempted discrediting of the witness's powers of recollection in your cross-examination. Futile? I walked right into this, didn't I? You see, everything we've said is true. <clears throat> Isn't that right, my darling? Yes, Pat. Marry me, Pat. Roly, no, that, that happened already. Oh, really? I'm telling you, man, that's the secret. They're not actually married. I don't I actually remember. I Ro think I was Roly, sleeping. that was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Zooms in on the picture of Raleigh. <laughs> with, the, with the smooth jazz music playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> So perhaps the ladies and gentlemen of the jury would like to reconsider their positions. <clears throat> Should the court waste any more time on this Nipponese travesty? My guy. Or is the decision you have to make all too apparent already? You have heard all of the witnesses and seen all of the evidence. And then they're going to show the other three. This trial has run its course. Mr. Narahoto, I'm afraid we are in a terribly precarious position. Again? Who would have thought? <laughs> I know! But if I fight back in the wrong way now, I could very well just make matters worse. Think, Ryanosuke. Think! What do you do now? I mean... Use your sword! <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. Pull, pull, pull off a Yakuza and cut the bullet in half! <laughs> uh, really quick, I do want to see what the what we have on the book. Well, let's just take a look here. Oh! Look at this! The book has been badly burnt. All right. You'd never be able to read it in this state, especially not the latter pages. What a terrible waste. Judging from the scorched edges of the paper, I think the damage must have occurred very recently. Hmm. Book. Recently damaged by fire. Why does that seem to raise a red flag with me? I don't know. No reason at all, honestly. Oh, hey, oh, hey we had to look at that. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad I did that. Good call. Though. I wonder if we look at the front, if they're going to recognize the book title. Let me see. It's a book entitled The Lion's Pride. The Lion it? King. <laughs> wow, <Wa> Simbonia. <laughs> ah! I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, there's penguins on my body. Oh my god, there's penguins on my body. That's what they say. Where? Oh, oh my yeah, god, there's yeah. penguins on my body. And look here at this part at the end. It seems they do a luau. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know any English literature at all. So it wouldn't be something I've heard. Wait a minute. The Lion's Pride. That's strange. I think I have heard of a book of that name before. And very recently, too. It's a title I recognize, too, Mr. Narahoda. Okay, well, close enough. Uh, and just to see, there's nothing else. Nah. Uh, well, we're going to raise an objection. I mean, we raise an objection, but I'm not sure what we're going for here. Oh, again, it's, the, it's not his book, but... There's no way to open the book and the evidence thing, is there? Uh, let me see. Uh, does not look like it. Oh. Nah. I mean, also it's showing that we're only going to lose one of our five points, so I think we can we can go. For What's it. wrong with it? I mean, I can't see how waiting and see would help us in this situation. True. Truthfully, I'm I'm not done yet. No, my learned friend, it's over. That last cross-examination was your final chance to establish a credible defense. And you failed. 
The die has been cast. There is no more room for debate. Well, it might be over as far as you're concerned, but... But... Uh, I can't think of what... I can't think of what to say! And neither can Susato. If I may, Lord Van Zietz. It seems somewhat boorish to close down the debate at this point. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> hmm. Your insignificant little eastern isle must be a lawless hole indeed. Fuck off. God damn. For a lowly judicial assistant to have the audacity to intervene at a moment like this. Jesus. Oh. How about I intervene? How about I have my foot intervene with your ability to reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> I am, to my shame, still a very inexperienced lawyer. I mean, I don't like to get to be shamed about that. Like, so you have to forgive I me. I basically only studied for like two months. Yeah. So you will have to forgive me. But I consider my assistant's advice essential to uh, essential, and her ops uh, no, and her opinions invaluable. Mister Naruhodo. Hmm. One of this land's great guiding principles is tolerance. You, <laughs> really, really, my guy? You want to try saying that with a straight face? One of <laughs> This land's great <laughs> guiding principles <laughs> is tolerance. Yeah, and America's the land of the free. <laughs> so, the court will hear you, madam. Go ahead, Mr. Sato. Please. Very well. Pray, what insight can you give us? Uh, thank you for the raid, Jason. Jason! The there's a real, a wild Jason appears. What have we all overlooked in this matter that you see fit to pursue further? Well, the court has been presented with new evidence, but only after the last cross-examination finished. I see. And you believe that this new evidence warrants further examination, do you? Um, Mr. Norahodo, what do you think? Yeah, dog, you're the smart one. I don't know. It's just possible that this new evidence might be the decisive proof we've been waiting for. The judge is sure to ask the members of the jury to announce their leanings in a moment. Even though that's really personal, private information, and the girls won't be able to answer. And of course, be sure to ask you to explain what the crucial piece of evidence is and why. So we must take this opportunity to examine the newly presented evidence as thoroughly as possible. Yes, I understand. And thank you, Miss Yusato. This is it. Susato-san has managed to win us one last chance here. I can't let it go to waste. The defense wishes to present the evidence, my lord. Uh, very well. The defense may present one further piece of evidence. Evidence that apparent... But you do have five tries to get it right <laughs> this first time. Thank you, my lord. Evidence that apparently offers a profound insight into this case and has hitherto been overlooked. I, I assume it's the book. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't see it being anything else. Uh, I can't either. Hey, guess what we actually get to do? Throw the book at him. Throw the book at him? Yeah! <laughs> Take that! I did throw it, damn. 
The evidence in question is what we can see from the newly presented photographic print of the, of the crime scene. The fourth book found in the victim's hand. Objection! That was so fast. Uh, yeah. We have already discussed the fourth book at length. Other than it being in the victim's grasp at the time of the incident, no significance has been attached to it. Will allow me to do that. Pursuing the matter further would be a flagrant waste of the court's time, as you well know. Ugh! Rinosuke, have a spine, goddamn. Uh, yes, I'm afraid, Counsel, I must concur with the prosecution on this matter. When I afforded you this opportunity, you led the court to believe that the evidence in question contained a hitherto undiscovered clue. So I must insist that you elaborate, counsel. You will identify this clue at once. Yes, and I will cheat at it. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Oh! Um, yes, my lord. It's... <clears throat> Mr. Norahoto, I believe the prosecution is trying to avoid a thorough examination of the evidence. Which means you may very well be on the right track. This isn't important, uh, but Wes, right now, our college is calling me to ask for money. Are they? At 8.52 yeah. p.m. on a Wednesday. <gasps> Oh, dude, yeah, Xavier, call dog. Xavier calls me every other fucking day, and I just never answer. Every time Incredible. I answer them, I'm like, I'm sorry, I got a degree in acting. I yeah. cannot give you money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's always so funny because you're always talking to, like, some frickin', like, 19-year-old. Yeah, they're just, yeah, they're just some kid. Yeah, you're not just Yeah. And she's just like, hey, man, how's it going? Uh, yeah, like, they're reading off a script. They feel terrible about asking yeah. you this. Yeah. Yeah, and no one enjoys like, doing this. Yeah. I know. It's, it's just awful like, oh, for really everyone. Sorry. Yeah. And then Anyways. it's like, oh, it's it's cool, bro. Uh, have a good day. And I'm like, all right, you too, man. I'll <laughs> see you in another month when you get, I get put back on the list to call again. <clears throat> Anyways, that wasn't important, but I thought that was funny. Yeah, you should you should answer and be like, you want some Twitch bits? I would be like, hey, what's up? Uh, just so you know, this is uh, being recorded live in front of over 100 people online. Uh, yeah. What do you got to say to the people? <laughs> and they always call me either really late at night or when I'm at work. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not answering this yeah. at either of these yeah. times. Yeah, it's bad times. <clears throat> Anyways. <clears throat> bad times at Bridgemont High. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, how do, people, how do people in the chat know that movie? I bet they don't. Give, give me this one more time. <laughs> Which means you may very well be on the right track. I... Yes, I think you might be right. So, Council, precisely where is the vital clue to this case which this fourth book conceals? It's the, the burn. The, burn. the it's big, the, it's not really concealed, but yeah. sure. Got it. Got it. I would ask the court to observe the back of the book in question. The back? What do you, good gracious. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, a book has been burned. <laughs> what is this? Fahrenheit nope. 451? Okay. I was gonna, I I was gonna say, what is this, 1939? Yeah. Or 2022? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you thought I was gonna say, is that? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say oh, okay. uh, the word that begins with N and rhymes with Yahtzee. Oh, okay. It's been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I don't want to say that word on Twitch, Bridge. I'm sorry. I know. Just, that's a great way to like. It's a great yeah. way to describe it. <laughs> is that is that a bannable? Is that like a you can get get? Uh, almost certainly not. For People play it, World War II not. video games, and you're allowed to talk about history. Yeah, yeah. The I'm Nazis sure the were a historical were. group. Bridge, you just said it. <laughs> I know. We can't get in trouble for it. It's not a bad word. I know. <laughs> so, we have to ask ourselves, 
Why was the victim clutching what is so clearly an unreadable book? It is undeniably an extremely unnatural thing for, to, for her to have been doing. Objection! Objection! Unnatural, you say? And what of it, my Nipponese friend? Perhaps on your tiny, shitty little island you don't read burnt books. My God! But God. here in the glorious capital of the world, we read books that are burnt to a crisp all the time. Oh. In fact, we just I... opened the fire library. <laughs> it I prefer my books the... well done. <laughs> It surely won't cause the entire city to burn to the ground. <laughs> Several times. <laughs> Chat, I didn't make the joke this time. You can't be mad at me. <clears throat> Were I to concede the point, if it bears no relation to the case, there is nothing to discuss. So... Should you wish to assert that this fire damage is some veiled clue as to what happened that day? Pray, do enlighten us all. What truth does this charred book hide? A charred book? Listen, I somehow picked this and I have no idea the relation to the case still. There is just one possibility here. I can't quite bring myself to rule out. It's an outside chance, certainly, but it's worth a try. But it's also the correct answer. All right. I'll explain my theory. Don't keep us waiting any longer, then, Council. Explain this theory of yours. What are you suggesting that you can ascertain from the fire damage this Sorry, Tome has suffered. The owner. Uh, its owner. My lord, the burn on the back of the book reveals a startling truth. About the book's owner. I beg your pardon? Cut to juror number four, just sweating. Just bing. Ah. Actually, yeah, she really should be. I mean, does she? is she like not aware of what's happening right now? She really yeah, should be no, like yeah. shit, fucking shit. <laughs> but we already know who the book belongs to. The victim was gripping it in her hand as she fell to the floor, after all. It's obviously hers. The question of how this book came to be in the victim's hand has yet to be answered. However, as to the questions of who the book really belongs to, and where it originated. The defense has very credible answers. Good gracious, how can you possibly? Very well. I'll play along with this futile attempt to delay your inevitable demise. Fuck, am I going to lose to this amateur again? <laughs> Twice. This is really going to am hurt I, my reputation. Am I going to have to murder someone <laughs> twice? Damn it, but got me remember. again, my Nibbanese friend. <laughs> <laughs> but do remember, the members of the jury may well burn you if your little gamble goes awry. Remember... If you find Mr. Natsumi innocent, I very well may kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Counsel, Shit. the defense's response here is very likely to influence the final outcome of his trial. Yeah, I'm very aware, Judge. So tell the court, who do you claim is the owner of this burnt book? Man, fucking... Strongheart's image and like the fact that he has like terrifying. such a deep shadow is wild. Yeah. <laughs> Maelstrom, Mel Strongheart owns this book. This guy 100% has to have an evil fifth act turn, right? Like, come on. I mean, it's it it for sure seems like it's it. It's got to be. Anyways, it's John Carrot up. <laughs> and he's 46. Yeah, he looks way older. He looks like hell. Yo, dude, you look pretty bad for 46. Come on, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. She looks pretty good for 38. Yeah, she looks great for 38. By comparison. 
Uh, all right. 